this is not going to be the background. I changed around my room. I haven't figured out what my backdrop is, but this is currently the backdrop. Also, I cut all my hair off. Hi. Hello. Oh my god, I have so many things. I will show you the room tour. Um, I just have a couple of things that I want to say before I start. I brought out a new single. It's called Like I Did. If you haven't heard it yet, please check it out. Thank you guys so much for all of your support on the track. I am so freaking blown away. It has hit 100,000 streams on Spotify in less than a week. And I'm like, I'm just shook. I never expected that to happen at all. And I'm just like, I'm just beyond happy right now. I couldn't, I can't put it into words. Like, I also got into five curated playlists on Spotify, by Spotify. The reason why I'm so buzzed about it is because you guys know, like, there's no label behind this project. There's no management behind this project. This whole single was just me and Stefan in a studio. And I'm just, I just can't, I can't even, I can't even. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just never expected this. So if you could keep saving it, sharing it, all of those things, that would be amazeballs. Oh yeah, exciting news. Bye. I only found out about this yesterday, um, but it's being announced, uh, well, it will probably, well, it will definitely already be announced by the time this video goes out. So I'm going to be supporting the Midnight Beast on tour in the UK next month. This is like a full circle moment for me. Well, actually, generally, this has all been a full circle moment for me because, for example, here's a clip of me singing the Midnight Beast at like 15, 16. If the girl won't come down, she must be a lesbian. Yeah, no, she must be a lesbian. Just another boy band. The girls underage. We don't care. I would go as far as to say, as they were a big part of my growing up experience, and I never saw them live because I was too young. I nearly went to go see them at like their first Brighton show. Didn't get to go. I made a YouTube video with them in 2015. Then I went and supported them at the Underworld. Me and Stefan have been co-writing all of my tracks right now. He's also been producing my tracks, and it's been such a pleasure working together and now getting to go on tour with them they're just great guys and it's just such a weird experience we are playing bristol birmingham manchester glasgow and london in september next month towards the end have a look at the dates anyway uh i'm so excited please come get a ticket um i'm really excited to perform i am hopefully making a lot more videos again now like i used to let's go with the video i'm so excited i'm so excited um yeah Let's check out my room. So when you first enter the room, you are immediately welcomed by two chest of drawers, which were inherited by me from my father. When we first moved in, he actually had a lot of furniture built in, which meant any furniture that he already had built in, he didn't need, so he gave it to me, uh, which was quite lucky as they're really, really nice wood. This is where I kind of, I just have a lot of like knickknacks, like things I can't be asked to move. I have some cute little trinkets on the shelf above. These are all from various places. Uh, the little chip cup which is definitely my favorite is from Primark and it's where I put all my hoop earrings and it looks like he's pushing them out it's so cute I love it this is also where I put any spare storage boxes in the bigger chest of drawers I have my underwear my socks my bikinis and then in the smaller chest of drawers it's just filled with books um, and I'm hoping at one point in my life I can have a bookshelf but I don't have one just yet, so. <laughs> and then to my right is basically where I just put all my filming equipment, so my camera when I'm not using it, my microphone for recording. And then moving on to the bed area, which I just, <laughs> this room just gets better and better, I swear to God. You shouldn't have judged it by the first corner because uh, it gets better. This bed is from Ikea. Originally, I did have a headrest um, there. Because my room is a roof room, it means that I always have a slanted ceiling, so I'm quite limited on uh, where I can put tall things. So I decided to get rid of the headrest and then I filled the holes either side with these lovely plants I bought from Ikea and then decorated it again like I did the last time with fairy lights which I just think are so so cute. The bed itself again is from Ikea and so are the bed sheets. These bed sheets feel so nice I don't even know what they're made of but they're just such a lovely soft material and it's very very light. All of the pillows that I've got are generally from Primark a lot of the uh, cuddly toys I've gotten from places like Comic Con and MCM um, there's also a few childhood toys as well. I currently only have one canvas on the wall, but I do want more. So if you guys have any suggestions on where I can get nice canvases, I do want to make sure that the artists get the money though. So like none of these like secondary websites where they steal other people's arts, please. And then next up we have my desk, which is honestly my favorite part of the room. It is so stunning. I've moved my mirror over to the left. It just kind of sits there now. I think I'm eventually going to get it to pin up on the wall so I can see 
see myself better in it um, but, but for now it's just kind of leaning against the wall and just to decorate that a little bit I just got some fake flowers from Ikea I'm pretty sure this mirror is from Ikea as well and then I've got these lovely copper wire lights which I adore they have little pegs on them so you can attach Polaroids I don't really have that many Polaroids to hand at the moment so I haven't stuck them up just yet and I want to replace the blue tack with white tack or if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. Moving on to my desk, I am one of those people where if a storage space isn't nearby, it will just sit on my desk and clutter. So what I've decided to do is basically get loads of storage boxes nearby for the stuff that I use all the time. I have a lot of stationery, so I got a really big one from Primark um, for my stationery, um, which I love so far. It's been really easy to just plot things in there. I was gonna pop all my memory sticks and SD cards in with my stationery, but I just knew that I would lose them so I left them in the little box that I had them in before and I think it's a good size. Next up I have this cute little decorative jug filled with flowers. Uh, these are obviously fake flowers they're all from Ikea. I love real flowers but obviously they're expensive. I thought about getting plants and I think I still might get a plant but I'm just so worried about killing it. So for now it's fake flowers and they look really pretty and just brighten up my desk. Next up I have a little copper light. This is also from Ikea. I don't know why I have two lights on my desk I'll show you the other one in a minute, but um, I just really like the color. It's uh, it's very modern. I've just got some lovely Polaroids on my desk right now. These are gonna be sent over to my Patreons. There's a little photo frame, which my mum gave me for my 21st birthday, which is just so cute. It's quite funny actually, cause it's just photos of me when I was younger. Um, but I like it, man. It keeps me it keeps me feeling close to home and my youth. And so I'm into it. Next up, we have a lamp, which is also from Ikea. Again, I really, really like this. It's got more of a warmer glow, whereas the copper one has a white light. It's one of those ones that you you pull down. I like the old fashioned look to it. And then on top of that, I have two small decorative boxes where I basically fill with kind of my glasses and accessories. And the other one is kind of hair ties. I try and just fill it with like hair ties and clips, but I kind of lose control. I don't really want to show you my bathroom, but one thing I do want to show you in my bathroom, which is my favorite thing ever, is uh, my Ikea mirror. It's a ring light mirror. And honestly, like in winter, it's such a lifesaver. Like I can actually see what my makeup looks like before I leave the house which I think is so necessary when like you're leaving the house early and the sun hasn't come up. If you're wondering about my storage space but generally I have storage in my desk either side. I put all of my bags etc under my bed and then also I have a storage unit above my desk where I can put bits and bobs. So yeah anyway so that is the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a really good time making it and uh, yeah I hope to see you soon. Bye!